Everyone, it's Arrow Dragon. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver. In the last episode, we crossed over into Kanto and made our way to Victory Road. In this episode, you're probably wondering what we're doing in front of Mount Mortar. Well, there's something interesting. We got Waterfall a while ago, and believe it or not, this is the only place in the entirety of Johto, as far as I know, they can actually use it. I don't know what the ideology behind that is. It's just this and Tojo Far is the only two places in the entire game in, in the main adventure where you can use Waterfall. It's just... Why? It's... It's just... It feels almost pointless. Like an oversight or something. Uh, just trying to remember how to actually get to the area to use Waterfall. Uh, as you, you can see there's a Waterfall right there. So obviously there's a way to get there. Just, just, I'm blanking. Don't worry, I'll figure this out, I'll figure this out. Okay. Oh, oh, oh! I forgot about this. Um, shoot, can Gyarados on cut? That's a negatory. I'll come back here. The thing is, you need to see Suicune here to be able to get it later in the game. I'll probably do that off screen because not much happens besides you seeing Suicune, you seen showing up, saying that was Suicune. Yeah, not much happens. So. Yeah, so just note that Suicune is here and you need to see it here. Okay, it dawned on me while exploring that I was supposed to head to the center area because that's where you can surf. Can't believe I forgot about that like an idiot. And that's how you access this huge waterfall. I was an idiot. I was wandering around for a couple of minutes and then, it, and then it dawned on me. Okay. Now we have access to this entirely new area of, to of Mount Mortar. Um... I don't think there's anything else besides this over here. Oh, this guy. This is an interesting trainer right here. Yo, Marcus! We actually know a Marcus, believe it or not. Watch what this guy has. He has a Seedra. If you recall, we were, a while ago, we ran into a, a Pokemaniac in this same area who had a Slowpoke. He was asking if we saw his partner who happened to use a Seedra. I like that they followed through with that, and it wasn't just left as a side note that no one expand on. Also, Amy grew to level 40, because, yeah, Amy grew to level 40. That's all that happens. And those choice sets are really working wonders on him. Oops, I really mixed you up. And we talked to him. I came to explore Mount Mortar, but I got separated from my partner. Did you run to a trainer who uses a slowpoke? A slowpoke that's really good at using strength? I don't recall him using strength, but I did see a slowpoke. That's a really, really nice detail. It's something that makes this world feel more alive. The fact that trainers have connections like that, it's really cool. And anyway, what else is around here, one might ask? Well, there's a lot of stuff, actually. You come over here, and there's a rare candy. Not too shabby. Eh? If I remember correctly, there's also something special in this area. Okay, what else is around here? Another item? A max potion! Nice! But there's another item around this area that I want to point out because it's very good. Very good. There's a lot of surfing around here, it just uh, it kind of bugs me, honestly. Like, you already need surf from Waterfall to get here. Why restrict? Why make this area even slower? It's just, I don't know. I don't know. It's something. I, it's a design choice I don't like. <clears throat> okay. Is that what I'm thinking of? We'll find out in a sec. Come on. Okay, be careful. Okay, good. No, but is TM40 Aerial Ace? This is a physical flying type move, and it's incapable of missing. Not too shabby, actually. If you don't want to teach your Pokemon fly, this is the next best thing. Hey, okay, there's something else. It's a good thing I restocked on repels before coming here. Otherwise, I'd be in a heap of trouble. Hey. What's over here? I don't see the point for all this water. 
I give this area a 7.8 out of 10. Too much water. <laughs> oh, boy. An escape rope. That's handy. Okay. I still hate IGN for that, for that review, though. It's just, ugh. So dumb. And they live in infamy for it. Okay. Okay. Is that it? Let's find out. Because I remember there being an item around here that's worth pointing out. And this is it! The Dragon Scale! When I was going over Horsey, I said you weren't far off from getting the Dragon Scale, and this is why. Bring a Pokemon with Waterfall, come to this area, boom, instant King Troll. Maybe not instant, you have a person I trade with. Regardless, easy King Troll. <clears throat> okay. Okay, thankfully there's no water in this area. <laughs> Oof. Okay, that's not it. Oh, another repel wore off. I really wish that. And I'm spoiled by the repel wore off. Would you like to use another one thing? You, you know what I'm talking about. I'm just absolutely spoiled by that. Uh, oh, they just kept, kept through that crevice. The alliteration was not intentional, I swear. Okay. Over here we have an iron. Not too shabby. Okay. Go through here, over around. Because there's, if I remember correctly, there's something special around here. Something very special. What's that? That is suspicious. That's curious. Maybe not suspicious, but curious. That's area looks familiar. Found an iron ball. Oh, I should probably go over the iron ball. The iron ball is similar to the lagging tail in that it lowers your your speed, but it also makes flying Pokemon and levitating Pokemon susceptible to ground type moves. There's an interesting application of it, though. There's a move called Fling that flings your hold item and that, and the hold item determines the power and and effectiveness. Fling an iron ball and it does a ton of damage, plain and simple. Oh! Now to max revive, always handy. <clears throat> yeah, but still, certain times, yeah, for certain times like the poison barb also affects when flung. It's an interesting move, and still a lot of strategy built around it. Okay, this loops back to an area we've been to. So, what's up here, then? Oh, yes! This guy! I knew I was remembering correctly. <clears throat> this guy is special. I am the Karate King. I train alone here in this cave. You, battle with me! Hurrah! Okay, no matter what you're thinking of doing, you want to come here. He has, starting off, a hit only. hit only. Okay, he's going for Focus Energy. And we strike down, so it means nothing. And now he has Hitmonchan. I'm just gonna one-shot that thing with Amy. No, no ifs, ands, or buts. Oh, Vacuum Wave, that's a special fighting type attack that's guaranteed to go first. Basically, just a weaker, more exclusive Mach Punch for most cases. Just, why would you use that if you can learn Mach Punch like this thing? It just doesn't make sense to me. <clears throat> okay. They're defeated. I'm beaten. Mm hmm. I, I'm crushed. My training is still not enough, but loss is loss. I admit it. If you defeat me, I'll give you this rare fighting type Pokemon. Okay. I'm not get. I'm not. Um. Hmm, want, okay, you know, I'm. It's gonna take a while for me to go back. So, on the way. I, I, oh, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna stay here. I'm gonna explain the fighting type he would give you. He's gonna give you Tyrogue. Tyrogue is a Jot is a new Pokemon introduced in Johto. That's a baby fighting type. It, it has three possible evolutions. Uh, three, three, okay, I need to get about this It has three possible evolutions, but the way it evolves is rather unique and also strange. If its defense is higher than its attack, it will evolve into Hitmonchan. As, as its appearance shows, this thing's really good at punching. The Iron Fist ability will, will boost the power of any punch move by 20%. And it has access to Fire Punch, Ice Punch, Thunder Punch, Mach Punch, Meteor Mash. This thing's got a really solid move pool, but unfortunately, its base attacking power is only average. So, it's a solid enough tank, but maybe not the best fighting type. 
On the contrary, if its attack is higher than defense, it will evolve into Hitmonlee. Hitmonlee is much stronger, and the Limber ability is pretty handy on, on a Pokemon like this because it doesn't want to get slowed down. On top of that, once Move Pool is a little bit more restrictive, it has a lot of great moves, such as Rolling Kick, Triple Kick, Blaze Kick. This thing's really good at kicking, and it kicks very hard, so honestly, I recommend this over Hitmonchan. And the third option, if you can somehow get its attack and defense equal, not exactly impossible, and I should probably mention I'm pretty sure it evolves a little 20, but I will say otherwise. Anyways, if its attack and defense are equal when it's about to evolve, it'll evolve into Hitmontop. Hitmontop is kind of interesting. Its stats are overall okay, it's an all-around Pokemon, but the thing you should look at is its ability. It gets Intimidate. That right there makes it awesome. Its move pool, however, is not so awesome. It's basically restricted to fighting types, moves, normal type moves, the occasional earthquake. It doesn't have a ton of diversity. So, honestly, I think Hitmonlee is the best of the bunch. Hitmontop's the middle of the road. Hitmonchan's the weakest, though I'm not saying it's bad. They're also up enough Pokemon, so maybe consider raising one of the three. I always found Tyroke an interesting Pokemon. So, let's use the escape rope and get out of here. I will see you guys at the entrance to Victor Road. With the, with the magic of video editing. Oh! And with the magic of video editing, we are here, going from escape rope into fly. Ha ha ha. Let's go. Only trainers who have proven themselves may pass. Oh, the gym badges of Jota. Please, go right on through. And you can't go to the left or the right. This way leads to Mount Silver. You'll see scary strong Pokemon out there. You're not ready for it. We're not. Oh, this way leads to Kanto. But this path's blocked for the time being, I'm afraid. Okay, let's get a move on. And we're in Victory Road! I'm gonna toss up a repel real quick, it's a good thing I still have strength on me, because I'm pretty sure it's necessary. Oh, it's still active. Huh. Okay then. Okay, Ragnarok, do your thing. Oh wait, no, I need to push up at the bottom. Oh, I don't want to bone myself. Oh! Steelix was huge right there! <laughs> okay. I'm gonna ex Okay, I'm I'm going to explain something. This incarnation of Victory Road, I simultaneously love and hate. On one hand, it is a... Oop, uh, <laughs> it gave me a potion! <laughs> okay, on one hand, it's really easy to navigate on like Sinnoh's. On the other hand, there is no trainer to speak of in this place. That kind of removes the, the finality feeling. Like, you've come th all this way, and you're, you're going to be having like, super strong trainers that have really strong Pokemon at this point in the game, but... Sadly, no. This place is desolate. It's just... I just can't figure out my feelings in this place. I can't tell if I love it or hate it. Okay. It's just, it's really short, really easy, not much to it. It's just, I don't understand what I'm supposed to feel about this place. I mean, I like the music. That's about it. I'm gonna come back for the items at another point, because I don't want to waste time by going around. And plus, I have reason to come back here later. Okay. Oh, this part. Um... Okay, only one hole to drop into. We're dropping down! <laughs> I'm sure Ragnarok caused an earthquake when it dropped down. Okay, you gotta be really careful at this point. Because you, you only have to push... You only should, you should only push it one space. There we go. A full restore. Always handy. <laughs> one step! One freaking step! Hey, look, Ragnarok, we found your third cousin. Let's not spend time on this family reunion we got base to be. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to remember how to do this one. I think we're supposed to bypass this. Yeah. So, something right here, an Ultra Ball, and if I remember correctly, there's something behind that rock that I'll get another time. And look at that, we're almost at the end already. Free Rock Smash Rock's there for some reason. Uh, rat. I forget which one this is. Uh, this one? Yes! Oh, well, it both led to the correct path. This one just leads to an HP up as well, so I chose correctly. Yay! And, yay! That was pointless! Like, seriously, it was almost pointless. I could have just given you an HP up, had you drop down, and been done. Anyway, we are done, but be forewarned, ha be battle ready, because... You're really surprised at this point? Hold it! Are you going to challenge the Pokemon League? Victory Road is at, the, is at its end for sure. But did you notice? You didn't see any real trainers on the way, did you? Man, they're all spineless. Well, the fact that you've come this far means you're not one of them. But 
Your journey ends here, because right here, right now, I will crush you! Here's our fifth and final battle with our rival for the main journey. And oh boy, that's a doozy. He opens up with Sneasel, level 36, Dark Ice type, inner focus for its ability, Fan Attack, Icy Wind, Fury Spice, Quick Attack. I decided to open with Ragnarok because, well, this thing doesn't stand a chance against Ragnarok. Every one of its moves is resisted by it, and really, it's not that big of a threat. It's got way too many weaknesses to be threatening. Bye! And eh, Ragnarok gets the boost. Okay, Meganium already? Huh. Okay then. Crosser, all you. Okay. His Meganium is. Give it a moment. Level 40, Grass Type, Overgrow for its ability, Reflect, Petal Dance, Poison Power, Synthesis. The same annoying thing we've come to hate. And if you have Ch Chikorita, he would still have Typhlosion, level 40, Fire Type, Blaze for its ability, that's the term. And Lava Plume, Swift, Flame Wheel, Quick Attack, not that big of a threat. And if you chose Cyndaquil, he'll have Feraligator, level 40, Water Type, Torn for its ability, Waterfall, Slash, Ice Bane, Crunch, definitely the most threatening of the three just because of sheer coverage, but nothing you can handle. Synthesis, ugh. As soon as, I, as soon as that reflect goes down, I'm just gonna lay in on this thing with close combat. Kinda makes, kinda makes me sad I got rid of Brick Break because it would've been handy at this point. But yeah, this beginning is just more defense and offense, so it's just a matter of wearing it down. You know, I'm saying I'm concerned if I actually was. See, that's why I, I could've easily send, send in a, uh, Alucard, but I want Alucard for someone different. Yeah, I want, yeah. Oh, I got a crit! Way to go, Crosshair! You rock! I just can't get enough of this battle theme. Okay, Golbat! Hey, hey you, have an, you have a flying type? Well, screw you, I have an electric type. <laughs> oh, okay, jokes aside, his Golbat is level 37? 38. Um, oh, there it is. His level 38... Inner fly, poison flying type, inner focus for its ability, bite, confuse ray, air cutter, and astonish. Why this thing still has astonish? Baffles me! Like, seriously, why? I don't care. Oh, Jewel! Don't flinch now. Ooh, yes, have your quick block kick in. Yes, 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 yes! I love that quick. Oh, wait, what? How did it tank that? I am very. I am perturbed. I'm actually kind of impressed. How many Pokemon can claim they've tanked a discharge from an Ampharos two levels higher? There it is. Nope, oh, down it goes. Okay, that's half his team. Next up is Haunter. This is what I want Al Alucard for, because this thing is honestly kind of threatening. His Haunter is level 37, Ghost Poison type, Levitate for its ability, Curse, Mean Look, Confuse Ray, Shadow Ball. The idea with this thing is it's going to trap you with Mean Look and wear you down with Confusion and Curse, so take care of this thing ASAP. It's not exactly difficult to take this thing out in one hit, I say as I miss the one shot. But yeah, this it will confuse you, trap you, curse you, it's going to do everything in its power to wear you out. So be, try and take this thing out as soon as you can. Thank you, Alucard. Only once I have a thousand EXP. Kadabra is next. Uh, how about we fight Psychic with Psychic? Yeah, let's fight Psychic with Psychic. Alright. His Kadabra is level 37. Psychic type, synchronized for its ability. Reflect, disable, side beam, recover. Not too threatening, actually, especially with the lack of, of magic guard on this thing, but eh, what can you do? Okay, yeah. Emmy Slick here is all the one shots. All of the one shots! <laughs> and his last Pokemon, Magneton, sending back Crosshair for that one. Sorry, Hydro Man, you didn't get a part in this battle, but there wasn't really much you could. But, eh, who cares? It, you'll, get, you'll get a part in the next battle. His Magneton is level 37, Steel Electric type, Magnapol for its ability, so no switching with Steel types. I see, it seems it wasn't luck that's gotten you this far. Okay, Spark, Thunder Wave, Supersonic, Magnabomb. The thing to watch out for is Magnabomb because it's incapable of missing, but... Bring a fighting type or ground type or fire type. This thing goes down. This thing goes down no problem. Definitely the toughest of the balance we've seen thus far. But if you're suitably prepared, like I am, seriously, seriously, I had no problem with this fight. He goes down no problem. Eh, 
and just barely missed the top off. And we defeated him! I couldn't win. I gave everything I had. What do you possess? What I lack? I'm beginning to understand what that Dragon Tamer said to me. I haven't given up on becoming the greatest trainer. I'm gonna find a way- I'm gonna find out why I can't win and become stronger. If I do, I will challenge you. I'll beat you down with all my power. <laughs> Get, keep that until then. I liked something. He said he was beginning to notice what, what he was doing wrong. That's character development. I like that. Oh! Um, okay, that's something to do between episodes to train. But in the meanwhile, we made it. The Indigo Plateau. And I, while I heal my Pokemon, we're ending the episode here. Next time on Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver, we're finally going to reach the conclusion of our journey. The Elite Four and the Champion. See you guys next time. Take care.